Thank you, Jed. Very hey guys, uh, welcome to Anderson's TV. We are live at NAM 2020 in our little booth, our little uh, room of solace away from the crazy noise, although you might hear some drums out the window. And this is pretty exciting. Absolutely. Our longtime friends at Sire, who we met, uh, must be three or four years ago now, mm -hmm. who make some wonderful, wonderful bass guitars um, under the, with Marcus Miller. So you, you know that story, Marcus Miller uh, has a hand in all the models they make. Yeah. And they've been widely uh, acclaimed around the world for unbelievably great quality, for really, really incredible pricing. Yeah. All the electrics are designed in-house by some genius, genius people there. Yeah. Um, and they have some crazy, exciting news for 2020. And that is that guitar legend. Is there any other word to describe no. him? No, I can't. I Not really. No, Multi-Grammy award-winning. Yeah played on all the coolest tracks for, crikey, probably from the 70s and onwards. Yeah, uh, Mr. Larry Carlton, none other than Larry Carlton, has teamed up with the guys at Sire to bring out a range of electric guitars. Yeah. Um, in fact, not just electric guitars, he's also now co-working with them on the acoustic guitars as well that they make, so it's insane. Exactly. Um, the backstory, as far as I understand, is Sire have been working with Larry in the, uh, for, for probably nearly a year, and I don't think anybody even knew about this, but Larry has sent his guitars to Sire. Sire have um, rev uh, you know, taken the electrics out, looked inside them, tested them, tried to understand how they make the, how the, why the guitars sound, how they sound. Yep. Uh, and not just electric guitars as well, they've had acoustic guitars from Larry. And there are three basic models now, three basic shapes coming from Sire uh, that Larry has approved uh, and will be sold as Larry Carlton guitars. guitars. Yeah. I guess... I think that's, this is the one that you'll recognize. Yeah. You know, this is the one that, uh, you know, we were chatting to the Sire guys just before doing this video and they're saying this is the one they had to get right. Um, so they obviously had Larry's exact guitar and they were, you know, they modeled the neck shape, pickup output, um, feel of the guitar, I guess. Obviously it's a stunning maple, um, flame maple top on that and they wanted to get it as close to Larry's guitar. And this one is called the H7. So H for hollow. Hollow, yeah. yep, hollow seven. Um, sounds great, it's got an ebony fretboard as well, which is absolutely crazy at, at the price point. Um, that, and yeah, that's the one. Classy. I mean, Larry, if you're a Larry Carlton fan, you'll, you'll probably know that uh, his, na his nickname, and I, and I believe even his website is called Mr. 335. Exactly. So if they don't get this one right, uh, then the really, uh, I, I guess, you know, that's going to be a problem. Um, but as Jed was saying, it's a beautiful laminate maple guitar, so, you know, just like the real thing. Yeah. And all the electronics in it have been voiced uh, by Sire yeah. to replicate the, sort of Larry's tone. And Larry signed it off, so Larry must be pleased. Now, I think some of you who know the Sire bass range might have an inkling about what the pricing is going to be on this, but those of you that don't, I would suggest that you sit down now. Exactly. Yep. Uh, because pretty much all, all the these guitar. guitars from the H7, the S7, and the one that you've not seen, which is the L7, which is a single cut yeah. uh, vibe. You'll probably see a picture of that come on screen now. They're all going to sell for about 500 pounds. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. I'll tell you a quick story. When, when I was still working on the shop floor a couple of years ago, before Sire was sort of on the horizon. I had a customer come in, showed me one of his bases, and he said, have a play on that. I said, okay, you know, feels great. And he goes, guess how much it is? And obviously, I, you know, I went over a grand, and he goes, no, three, got it for 300 pounds. And I could not believe the That's quality. Outside, Couldn't think, believe the quality, yeah, man. So, so give us some awesome. tones, give us some tones from that, quick tones. Okay, cool. I'll do the same on, on the S7, and then I'll quickly show you the acoustic that he's uh, uh, worked with Sire on as well. Cool, so this is neck pickup. 
Nice spank. Yeah. Bit of drive on that. Cool, and then down to the bridge pickup. I'll take the drive off on that as well. Just gonna clean the amp up a little bit as well, so. Cool, yeah. Maybe with cool. a bit of drive. A little bit of drive on that. So great for those uh, rhythm tones, I guess. Sustain for days. Sounds great. It's wicked. Yeah, great I think room. there's a couple of different colors in this model. Yeah. Uh, right now, I'll be honest, at, at um, NAM is so crazy hectic, I don't want to um, get anything <laughs> too wrong about the specs and stuff of these guitars. So in the description below, you'll find links to the Anderton's website where you, where you can read away and, and get everything confirmed. But hey, here is the S7. Um, again, I believe this is going to come in two basic variants so there's a yeah. much more traditional looking kind of non flame top style yeah. plus obviously the flame top one and again in different colors roasted maple neck uh, lacquered fr fingerboard but satin back of the neck yeah. flame as well I mean locking tuners on there as well oh, it's insane that's Good crazy shot. Knock locking tuners knocking tuners um, <laughs> uh, the neck is a roasted maple neck you, to be honest with you, this one's even got a little bit of flame in there, although I don't think that's part of the spec. That's probably just luck. Yeah. Um, a gloss uh, lacquered fretboard, but a satin finished back. So mm -hmm. you get this really lovely feel on the back, but you still get that kind of spank and that beautiful feel on the front. Um, the edges of the neck are rolled so heavily um, to yep. just give it that real lived in, worn yep. kind it of feel. Played in, doesn't it? Uh, anyway, let's get some tones on this. So this is my neck pickup. Neck and middle. Middle. Uh, when we go to the, uh, the, the, the middle and the bridge pickup, it splits the humbucker to can cool. remain that sort of stratty. It's a bit more quacky than that. And then the back humbucker is... And of course, if I add some gain in with the back humbucker... Whoa. I'm not entirely sure what the radius on the fretboard is. It definitely has a radius. I would say it's probably nine and a half. Um, so Something, very sort yeah. of stratty. Standard. Trem system on here, it's a two pivot trem. We didn't get the trem arm uh, with this particular guitar, um, but it's a, you know, it looks like a good trem system here. A little bit like a, I don't know, it looks a little bit like a, a, either a Fender or a Wilkinson style trem, but yeah, the two, the two point pivot. Yep. Um, pretty looking guitar on the back, nice belly cut, nice contoured heel joint, as Jed said earlier on the locking yeah. tuners. I think it's a great, Looking guitar, and again, a lot of guitar for, for your money, that 500 money, yeah. around about the 500 pound mark. It's a shame we don't have the L7, because that's cool too. Pretty sure if I remember rightly, there's a gold top version of that, and it yeah. looks amazing. Yeah, but the killer. 100%, when we're back in uh, the UK, and we've got the guitars, uh, we'll do something on those as well. Uh, last little bit in this video, uh, and don't go away as well, because we've got some basses to show you as well, although we'll probably do that in a separate video. Um, Sire came out with some acoustic guitars maybe a year, 18 months ago. Mm -hmm. um, there were two models in the range. There was uh, a three series, which yeah. was a solid top with a laminate back and sides. That's it. And, and then a seven, seven series, which exactly. is all solid. Again, phenomenal value for money. All 
they've designed all their own electrics inside, been yeah. massively popular for Andertons. Um, so this first one here, this one is actually still has the Sire logo on the headstock, but I believe this will have a Larry Carlton um, logo by the time this comes out. This is the R4, so it's designed to sit in between the cool. three and the seven. Okay. So what Great. we're getting here now is a solid top, a solid back, and laminate sides. Um, cool. And the tops on these now are also going through a roasting process yeah, you can see uh, to give you not only that nice tint, but also that uh, drying the top out to just try and recreate the kind of resonance that, uh, resonance, sorry, that an older acoustic guitar will get. I'm going to get Jed to do the playing. He's a better acoustic player than me. Um, but as I said, we just have uh, Jed's lapel mic for you to hear this. So when we get back to, to England and we get these in store, we'll do a proper mic'd up demo of it. But check it out. I suppose you, you might not hear those nuances, <laughs> yeah. but it uh, sounds great in the room. How does it feel to play? It's great. Nice little neck, quite a, quite a flat sort of action, um, which I like on an acoustic because it means you're not fighting against the guitar. Yeah. Well, look, so, and price-wise said, that's going to sit somewhere in between what R3 and R7 is, so I guess somewhere around about the four or five hundred pound mark as well. Yeah. Um, Monster. It is such an honour to work with the guys at Sire. They make, they just make, they are the bang for your buck, you know, in, in Andertons. Uh, they are the best value we guitars do. we sell. I mean, I get totally. guitars are completely subjective and people like different shapes and different sounds and different colors and everything like that, but just pure, pure, you know, how much guitar do you get for the money? Yeah, and in terms of the feedback we hear about, you know, yeah. about these guitars from customers, every single yeah. one of them, love it. Go, so, go and yeah, just, go and just really really type up Sire Bass Guitar Reviews, go to any review site, FIFO, yeah. Trustpilot, whatever, and it's, it's stellar. Anyway, that's it. Here we are, NAMM 2020. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. There's tons more stuff coming. And as I said, we're going to look at some bases now. So thank you very much for cool. watching. Thank Thanks, you, guys. Jed, for standing in for Danish Pete, who's yep. busy out there recording <laughs> tons of stuff with Rabir at the moment. But anyway, see you next time. Awesome. See you later, guys.